Welcome back to the aisle. Guys, if that didn't get you hyped, well, then nothing will. But I have to ruin the hype. That's not official. That's something Dondi actually did a while ago on his stream to mess around, and he really wants to do stuff with Jurassic Park. I feel like the aisle is a perfect fit with Jurassic Park. I just don't know how Dondi would want to do things with Jurassic Park and the Jurassic World franchise and stuff. But it was cool. I had to start with that because the second I saw that, the hair on the back of my neck stood up and I lost it. It was so cool. Anyways, they've added V3 back to the game. Now, many of you know V3. Many of you remember V3 as the map to end all maps. It's one of the favorite maps we have ever seen within the game. And it's one of my favorite too, actually. I like the new map a lot, but this map really... Oh man, it took the cake as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go in. What do I wanna be? This, the Osteraptor, by the way, is humongous now. Just so you know. You know what? I'll show you. I will show you because this thing is freaking monstrously big. Uh, whoa. Oh, okay, I didn't know there was weather on the map. That's cool. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that there is confirmed tar pits. There's new creatures confirmed as well coming to survival. Three of them, actually, which I'm going to cover in this video. And uh, I think there's a couple other things I have to make too or show you guys. But the main thing was that Jurassic Park crap. That was amazing. I loved it. And now you can see, obviously, the Osteraptor. Is humongous compared to how it was before. Before it was like going through, oh boy, going through these bushes and like the grass, you would barely see me. Please, I, how have I not broken my leg falling down through those? But you barely see me. Like it's like, it's gotten a, it's a, it's a big size buff. I know that. As far as the stats, I don't really see anything different about it. We got a Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. Oh, we have Global too. Nice. That wasn't a thing before. That's pretty sweet. I bet that was really pixelated when I put my camera down in the er, in the grass. I don't remember this pond. I'm not even sure where I am. I wonder if the facility's still there. I gotta find the giant dividing waterway, and I've also gotta try and see if the human facility is still there. I know uh, Trips is probably still there, but it's in a marsh form now because they did the iteration on it where they added all the marshland. They actually have a survival server on this map as well. I think V4 was changed over to it, so I lost my Utah, which kind of sucks. But I, pro I can progress to something else anyways. And I mean, hopefully they add those new creatures to survival soon. I'm just going to respawn. And we'll go with something else. And we will continue from there. Here we go. Looks like we're somewhere promising now. What is this? What the hell is this? Hang on. Oh, crap. There's things still alive here. Look at... Oh, my God. The bodies. I don't know if I want to trust these guys. Did they create this mad's grave? Oh, my God. They're gonna kill me. I don't know if I should trust these guys or not. I should I say hi? I'll say hi, I guess. Oh Jesus Christ, look at that! That just went down right in front of me over there! Dude, I wonder if there's any singed trees or anything. We gotta change over to our night vision, which there is a night vision test actually. I have to show you guys as well. I don't see any burnt ground or like fire. My God, that was so cool. Oh crap, where the hell was that? Dude, that is nuts. <laughs> I love it. The weather's so cool. So if, I think if I keep on going down this way towards these mountains, I should at some point broadcast, I should at some point find what I'm looking for, which is the giant... Oh my god, that's so bright. The giant lake that separates the two sections of the map. What is this? Man, what the hell is this? What's up with all these extra water sources? I don't like this. I'm having a hard time finding my way around, and I'm seeing ponds and lakes and stuff that like I'm not used to seeing. I think this is it down here. This might be it. What are my coordinates? Let me see... 496. I don't even remember the coordinates for the lake that I'm looking for. That's a tree. That's awkward. I think this is it down here. Now, I know there's another giant body of water as well, though, and I don't want to hit that one. That's the wrong one. What is this one? This one's super... Oh, my God. I forgot how, how far this thing went. There's the beach. Now, this would be impossible to swim across. 
Granted, this has water that you swim on. Yeah, you swim on it. Damn. That sucks. I used to walk underneath the ocean. What side am I on? Having so much trouble figuring that out. Where are you going? Well, I guess if there was ever a time to show you guys those clips, that time would be now. So we're going to go over tar pits and a bunch of other stuff coming to the game. Along with the sexy Rexy that we heard in the beginning. So let's let's do that. starts the fever the rage the feeling of powerlessness the turn good men cruel um we're adding in i guess this is a confirmation for chat we're adding in dryosaurus we're adding in the myasaurus and we're gonna add in um Pachycephalosaurus once he gets his remodel. Okay. And then uh, for the carnivores, I think we're doing Ceratosaurus and Dilophosaurus and Allosaurus. So if I'm correct, I may have just found where I was trying to go. I found the giant body of water which had the land bridge across from the beach or the, the marsh, whatever which has been completely redone and then up here i believe if i go in through this section right here i'm gonna find the trips trip lakes which is now a giant swamp like marsh unless they've changed that too i'm not sure if they have and this is actually the first time i've made it to trip since then it's really confusing trying to get around the map now because they've added a lot of different landmarks and water sources from what i can see but i'm gonna just go in here and see what i can find uh that's awkward hi mr giga kind of casually crouching around over there i'm just gonna run over here and act like i didn't see you good sir what are you are, are you are you trying to crouch away you scared of me oh he has a body there i think hi yeah, you better be scared of me <laughs> I hear someone down there. <laughs> so the last thing I want to go over with you guys, and I couldn't uh, I couldn't really find anything worth looking at on the V3 map at Trip, so I came back into the dev official server for some progression. Well, I didn't find anything at Trip. Just going to act like I didn't do anything at all. <laughs> There's two of them. I'm just going to... Mosey on down here. Oh, God. You don't see anything? You don't see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah. He wasn't even near me. How does that even count as a bite? Oh, there must be some server lag. I saw them, like, teleport around. Oh, boy. That's a bad spawn zone. 
Yeah. Yeek. Yeek. You get away from me. You let me live in peace and harmony. So there was a tweet that I wanted to go over with you guys because there wasn't anything at trips. And it was made by the Olympus transmitter uh, on April 28th. So this is one I actually overlooked entirely because it happened like a day or two after my initial video on the uh, tweets that came out for the, I guess, warnings or like, we're, we're alive, signal reached everyone, you know, yada, yada. Um, they made a tweet and it said, do not pass gateway, do not answer the call. Now, again, it's more cryptic in what they've been doing within the aisle, and I'm not sure exactly what it's pointing towards. Something is, is saying, or someone is saying, don't pass the gateway, which could literally mean don't pass the gateway, or figuratively, don't pass the gateway, and do not answer the call, which again could be figurative, or literally, don't answer a call. I don't know if this is pointing towards the Colossus since they were tweeting about that and they were talking about that in some dev streams and showed off a, a model of it. But I can only assume that at some point we're going to have this clarified and it's going to tie into the storyline that is ongoing within the aisle. And actually, I have a clip right here that I, I think I showed it earlier in the video too, but I'm going to show you guys this again because this is actually a point in the clip where people are saying this is a lore hint or this is some kind of hint towards what's happening within the game and the storyline so i want you guys to listen to this i know it's not it's not from the aisle itself but it's it's like a hint i think towards what's going to be happening with the story so i guess it's inspiration more or less because i think this is from a movie clip and oh god please don't copyright strike me <laughs> that's how it starts the fever the rage, the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel. Now this could point towards a whole host of different things. It could point towards the hypos, could point towards cannibals, it could point towards the colossus, or well, I mean a lot of the other creatures basically, and, and aggression when it comes to these creatures. Hypos are probably the most aggressive when it comes to killing things and eating things because they need that. They need to eat constantly to survive. I hear a baby Rex up here. I'm going to try and eat, said baby Rex, because survival of the fittest, yada yada. Oh, this is where the Giga was, I think. Possibly. No, oh, Giga's not here right now, so we should be okay. Actually, maybe I should grab a drink while I can. While the coast is clear. Yeah, I don't see the Giga anywhere around here right now, so I can drink at least. That's good. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think. What you've seen in this video so far. A lot of interesting stuff. Uh, I'm looking around for that Giga, just making sure he's not here. Now we gotta try and get that baby Rex. If he keeps on calling, that'd be good. I heard him do some friendly calls up here. Oh, what the hell was that? I can't identify that sound. Time to run into the trees. Ooh, okay. What are you? What are you? Oh, it sounds big. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's a it's a, a sub-adult Giga. Oh. Wow, I almost walked into that guy. Yeah. It looks like he's friends with that Rex. Damn. There's another one right there. Maybe I shouldn't be here. They might be progressing together. I can't tell. Where are they? No, the gig is down there. Oh no, that was one of the guys I was hunting. <gasps> That's a big Rex. Oh no, they're inviting him to the group. I was going to try and hunt them. Now what do I do? I can't kill people that are in my group or on my team. Are they making noise in local? No, they're not.
Oh, God. Wait, what does he have for food? Maybe I can go down with these guys, because they seem like they're chill. Watch out for them. Giga has food, so I think he's okay. Gotta watch out for these guys, though. There's another one down there. Oh my god, dude. Everyone and their mom is being invited to the group. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> nope. Not today, Captain Dildo. No, you don't make a beeline for me, bud. Doesn't work like that. Don't trust them at all. I almost don't trust these guys in the group, too. Uh-oh. Oh god, there's another one. <laughs> How about we just move over here? We'll be friends. Wait, are they? Are they friends? Wait, did I just see a bite? I thought I just saw a bite. What are, what are they doing? What are you doing, guys? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they must be friends. They're sitting down. There's another sub-adult Rex over there. Or Juvie Rex. I don't want to mess with them. Because they're up by the Gigas. How about we just move away and act like this didn't happen? We're not going to have a little get-together and tea party. Not today. I swear I heard a baby parasaur somewhere around here. Now, baby parasaurs can be really dangerous to us because they can click and attack. They can do their shenanigans of death and destruction. But if I can pinpoint him and I can go for him first, well, we should be okay. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. We'll hide right here. Maybe they won't see us. <gasps> oh, there's three adults. No, 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 no. You can keep going. Giga, no, no, Saurus, you keep going. Oh, they have a baby with them too. Oh, that's scary. Are they going towards the two Gigas that were at the water down there? Are they friends with them? Or maybe they're going for the Parasaur. I might have already bypassed that Parasaur like crazy. Looks like the worst is over with anyways, so that's good. They didn't see me, which is actually great because I guaranteed would have died. Yeah, you four call, because I, I will destroy you someday, possibly. Guys, I... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I heard a three call. Hang on, let's see what this is. All right, where did they go? Down here, I think the babies left. There they are right there. Maybe they aren't with them because those other gigas hightailed it out of there like crazy. Ow, that was a mistake. Let's just take a look and see. What the, the hell was that? Oh, I see them all over there. Oh, it's so many of them. Oh, so they were with those children. God, that's a scary sight. All right, guys, I'm going to end it right here for now. We only made it to 11% progression. Like, progression as a Rex is a really slow, tedious process. Tonight sometime, I'll probably make an attempt to progress up to, like, sub-adult or adult or something like that. So it's a little bit safer for me. But, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Hopefully, the audio is finally fixed. I added some more gains to my um, recording software. And it's showing really good peaking and stuff. So we'll have to wait and see. I'll see you in the next video.